Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Wayland's Mine Strategy. We're going to do this at the $5 level, which is the lowest level. And you may have trouble finding a live table with a $5 limit. But, um, you know, you can always try this on bubble craps um, if you don't have a live table in your area that has a $5 minimum. So we're going to roll this out. We'll explain it when we get there. This is another great system uh, Wayland's come up with. I know you may be getting tired of watching me roll out uh, Wayland's uh, systems. But, um, man, the guy's been on fire. I mean, he's got some gold here. And uh, I don't know that this has got its proper props. Um, he's rolled it out at three different levels. Um, I don't know if anyone else has. But I have rolled this out. Uh, about 20 times, I would say, and uh, every system has its holes, and every system you're going to lose occasionally. Um, this one, of the 20 times I've rolled it out, it's one every time, so um, this is one. I'm going to Vegas in a couple of weeks, um, and I'm going to be uh, putting this in my arsenal, and we'll roll it out and see how it does. Now, we'll put a link to to Wayland's uh, video uh, probably at the $5 level also. and uh, But I'm uh, pretty excited about this, so let's go down to the felt. I'll explain how it works, and we'll roll it out and see if we can win our 21st in a row. See you on the felt in just a minute. Okay, everybody down here on the felt now, and we're going to roll out Wayland's mine strategy. Uh, we're going to start off with a $2,000 buy-in. That's 300 in the black chips. 1,000 in the green chips, and then 200 in the red chips. Now, how this system works, we start off with, uh, we tell the dealer we want uh, 20 outside, and he'll put $5 on the four outside numbers, the four, the five, the nine, and the 10. So we, we roll the dice. If we uh, hit one of those numbers, we collect and stay at that level. However, if we do not throw one of those numbers, say we throw a six, well, then we... Uh, Ask the dealer to press our outside bets, and then we'll go up to 10. And then if we throw, say, a, a horn number, uh, say, a, a yo, so then we'll ask him to do it again. So now we're up to $60 in bets out there. And then when we do hit one of the numbers, um, if we are in profit, we bring everything back down to our base level, which would be 20 outside. So that's how the system works. Um, if we hit a seven and seven out, of course, all of this will go away and then we'll come back up at the same level. We will not increase on a seven out. So um, uh, now $2,000 seems like a pretty large buy-in for uh, a system that starts with the $5 bets, but um, this thing can escalate pretty quickly and you get some pretty good sized bets out there. So uh, I want to be sure you have plenty of bankroll. So uh, I would suggest a $2,000 buy-in for the uh, Wayland's Mine strategy here. So anyway, let's get started. And we'll roll this thing out for a few minutes and see how it does. And uh, I have rolled this thing, I bet, 20 times. And uh, out of that 20 times, it's won 20 times. So anyway, uh, we'll be working on everything, so we're not going to worry about uh, having a button. So we'll tell the dealer 20 outside, and they'll place those down for us. And we've got the dice in hand, and here we go. Okay, there's the uh, snow, the uh, sunflower, so that's a hard 10, so that'll pay uh, $9. So we'll take that. And rack it. And we'll stay at the same level since we hit our number and we are in profit. Okay, there's an eight. Now that, uh, that's none of the numbers that we're looking for. So we'll tell the dealer to press this 20 outside again. And we'll put these bets are up to 10 now. And here's the next roll. Okay, there's the 415. So that'll pay 14 for a $10 bet. There's 10, there's 14. So we'll rack that. So uh, we are in profit now. And so we will uh, reduce back down to our base level, which is 20 outside. 
Put that back in the rack. Next row. All right, that's yo. So once again, we'll uh, up our bets by five on all the outside numbers. Next row. All right, there's the sunflowers once again, the hard 10. 10 came hard, so that's another $14. So we'll do 15 for one on this one. And put that in the rack. And we'll reduce back down to our base level. 20 outside. Okay, there's a 5-1, 6 easy, 6 came easy, so we'll increase our bets by 5 on all four numbers. Next roll. Okay, there's another 10. This time it came easy, 10 easy. So that'll pay us uh, 14, that'll pay us 18. So uh, we'll go 20 for 2. Rack that up and back down to the base level. Next roll. All right, there's the eight. So we don't have an eight. That's eight easy. So back up to $5 on all four numbers. And once again, there are the sunflowers. So that's another $18 win. So we'll just pay that off exactly this time. And rack that up and bring our bets back down to the base level. All right, here we go. All right, there's the 6 3 center field nine. So, uh, $5 bet that'll pay seven. And we'll just stay at the base level. And there's the square pair, the hard eight. So we don't have an eight. So up to $10 on everything. And there's the easy 10, the 10 easy that time. So that's another $18. So we'll do 20 for two. And bring this back down to 20 outside. And there's a 6-3 center field 9, so that'll pay 7. Rack that up. And there's the 4-2, 6 easy. So we don't have a 6, so we'll go up to another 20. So now we're 40 outside. And there are the sunflowers once again, so that's another $18. Rack that up, reduce back down to 20 outside. Here we go. All right, there's the uh, Colt 45, the center field nine. That's another $7 winner. And we'll just remain it at the uh, current level, 20 outside. Next roll. Back to back Colt 45s. So that's another $7. And we'll just keep racking them. And there's the 7 out. All right. So we lose the 20. And we'll keep these up here so we'll see how quickly we make this money back with this uh, system. And so we're just going to come back, right back up. We're always working. And we're going to stay at the $5 level, the 20 outside. And here we go. All right, there's the 4-1. That's the 5. So that's a $7 payout. So we'll do 10 for 3. And put that in the rack. And here we go. There's the square pair of the hard 8. So we go up... Uh, Another five on all four numbers. Next roll. All right, there's the four one. Uh, that's the five, so that's a eighteen dollar payout. So there's thirteen of it. And there's another five, so we're back in profit. And 
so we can reduce back down to the base level. So just that quickly we made up for that seven. Next roll. All right, there's another Colt 45. That's another $7 payout. We do 10 for three. Stay where we are. All right, there's uh, the snake eye, so we don't have that. So now we'll press it up to 40 outside, add another 20. And there's the uh, double deuces, four hard. So that's a $18 payout. So let's do 20 for two once again. in profit so we'll reduce back down to 20 outside five dollars on all four numbers now one tweak we may have to make another uh, four easy one tweak we may have to make with this thing uh, if you're in a lot of uh, casinos there's not any five dollar tables so you're either going to have to play this on uh, bubble craps or it's a nine dollar winner by the way uh, bubble craps are uh, you have to find a $5 table. Uh, I know in Vegas, uh, Ellis Island has $5 tables during the day. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other places. But we may have to start this at the $10 level if you're playing at a live table. And I haven't rolled it out at that level. That's another 3 one, four easy. And we'll do 10 for 1. Um, but uh, I'm thinking if we start at a $10 level, uh, when we... Uh, go up we'll still go up at five dollar increments and uh, I don't know how the math will work out on that but that's what I'm thinking anyway I'm going to roll that a few times uh, like that and see if it works out as well as this has so there's a square pair we don't have an eight so press up to 40 outside here we go all right there's the easy 10 so that's a $18 winner so we'll do 24 two Rack that up and back down to base level. Now this is one you're going to have to pay attention because you have to keep up with what's going on on the table to uh, uh, keep your bets at the right level. So there's the 5 2, and that's a 7 out. So we lose that 20. We'll keep that right there. And we'll just come right back up with uh, 20 outside. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to back seven, so we lose those. And that's why we don't level up, because you don't want to get too far in the hole. So let's do that again. See if we can throw something besides big red here. Alright, there's the hard six crab, so we'll increase our bet since we don't have don't have anything on the six. So we're back to forty outside now. And here we go. All right, there's another seven out, so we lose uh, 40 this time, and we're kind of piling up over here, so we're coming back up at the same level, 40 outside, and as you can see, this uh, start getting a few sevens, which we've, we've rolled real well up until now. Uh, this um, escalates pretty quickly. We've got 20, 40, got $80 in losses over here on the play field that we've got to make up for now, so here we go. There's a 6-2. That would be 8 easy. 8 came easy, so we don't have that. So up some more. Up another 20 outside. And now we've got $60 at risk out there. And there's the hard 6. So we go up again. So now we're up to $80 outside. Next roll. There's the four, the three one four, And at the $20 level, we can buy the 4 and the 10, which we would do. So uh, that'll pay, uh, we'll just pay 20, we'll worry about the VIG later. Actually, that'll pay 40, and we'll worry about the VIG later. So we'll pick those up off of here and put them in the rack. And we'll just keep it where it is. Still, we need to, we need to get this back before we go back to base level. Next roll, there's the uh, craps three. So 
up another uh, another 20. So let's clean this up and we'll just, uh, since we're going to be at 25 on everything, we'll just put the green ones out, pick these up. All right, here we go. Here's a 314, so that'll be um, $50. So there's 25, there's 40, and there's 50. And so now obviously we are in profit, so we'll just reduce back down to the base level and roll them again. So that's 20 outside. There's the 4-2, that's the 6 easy, so we don't have the 6, so 20 more outside. And there's the 4-3, and so we lose this 40, keep that over here, and come back up with 40 here. And we'll stay there until we can get this money back. Alright, there's another 7, back to back, so that hurt. So there's another 40 out there, so let's do 40 again. And there's the 5, 1, 6 easy, so we don't have a 6. So we'll go up 20 more outside. That puts 15 on everything now. There's the three one. That would be the four easy, and that's a twenty-seven dollar payout. So there's twenty-five. Make it thirty for three. We'll put this in the rack and roll them again. All right. There's four three seven. So we lose uh, sixty on that one. It's a pretty big hit. So we'll come back up at 63 on everything, $15 on all four outside numbers. And here's the roll. All right, there's the uh, box cars, all the dots we got. So let's go another 20 outside. Nicer away, another six. All right. That's going to get us up to 25 on all of these. So let's pick these up, put them back in the rack, and we'll come back up with the uh, green chips. We'll be buying the 4 and the 10. There we go. All right, there's the 10. So that'll be a $50 payout. So there's 20, 40, 50. So we'll put that in the rack. And here we go. Next roll, craps three, AC Deucey, blackjack. So we'll go up another five on everything. Dice are out. And there's six four, that's 10 easy. So we got 30 on that. So that'll be a $60 payout. So there's 20, 40, 60. So we'll put that in the rack. Now one thing you can do and I'm going to do it here, even though we're still down $3, we've got uh, $120 at risk. So even though we're still down $3, that's close enough for me. I'm going to take everything back down to the base level and uh, kind of protect my profits a little bit here. And we'll leave those three out here. But um, anyway, we're going to go back down to base level and uh, see how we do here. All right, there's the uh, Colt 45, so that'll pay that'll pay seven. So we'll pick those up, and now we are in profit. Next roll, and there's seven out, so we lose these. So down twenty, and we'll come back up, same level. There we go. There's a 6-2. That's 8 easy. So tell the dealer, press it 20 outside, and they'll take care of you just like that. And 
there's the aces in both places. So once again, another 20 outside. Next roll. Oh, there's a seven. So we lose uh, $60 on that. So we're down 80 over here now. So back up at 60. 60 outside. All right, here we go. There's a 639, so that'll pay 21. So let's do 25 for four. Back that up, put this over here. There's the five, three, eight easy. So we're going up another 20. And we can buy that four and 10 now. And there's another seven out, all right. So that's another 80 down now. So we'll come back up at uh, 80. 20, 40, 60, and 80. All right, here we go. Back to back sevens, ouch. So we got a pretty big hole here now. We got to, we got to win all this back. So we're gonna come back up uh, with 80 outside. Move this back up here. Where's 20? 20, 20, and 20. All right, see if we can hit some numbers here. Five, three, eight. So let's bring these down. We'll be up to 25 now. Clean up the board a little bit. All right, here we go. Another eight. Eight hard. Puts us up to 30 on everything. Another 20 outside. And another 8. So as you can see, if you start throwing 6s and 8s and horn numbers, you can get a lot of money out here. All right, let's hit a number. Okay, there's the uh, 10 easy. So we got 35, so that'll pay uh, 70. There's 25, 50, 75, so that's 70. So we'll rack that. And we'll keep it out there. Here we go. Here's a 639. So 35 will pay, let's see, 35, 49. So there's 25, and there's 50. One goes back. Still rolling. Here we go. There's the 5 3. That's 8 easy. So another 20 outside. That gets us up to 40 on everything now. And there's the 9, 9, center field 9. So we've got uh, 40 out there. So that'd be 56, I think. 25, 50, 5, So we're coming back out of the hole here. Just need uh, one more hit. We can avoid big red here. All right, here we go. Okay, there's the three one, that's the four easy. And we've got 40 there, so that'll pay 80. So there's 25. 40, 44, 45, 70, and 80. All right, so now we're in profit, so we can bring all these bets down to the base level. And so rather than doing that, I think we've rolled this long enough. You should have a pretty good idea how this works and how well it works. 
we got in the hole pretty good a couple of times, but we're able to come back and um, get all our money back and show some profit. So we started off with a $2,000 uh, buy-in. And that's right here. We got $300, 1300 1400 1500 I guess actually we just had a $1,500 buy-in. So uh, we should have had another 500 out here. So that's that's on me. So we'll put that out. So that's the $2,000 buy-in there. That's 800 1800 and 200 is 2000 So that's the uh, buy-in. And this is the profit. All right, so that's 200. Change that for a green one. 250. So 253 dollar profit on a two thousand dollar buy-in, and uh, once again. Um, as I said, you need $2,000 um, because the uh, best can escalate pretty quickly, as we saw there on those last couple of shooters. And uh, But uh, even when you get in a big hole, it doesn't take but uh, about three hits, and you're back in the profit and back at the base level. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please uh, give us the thumbs up button there. Press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, we ask that you do so now. It's uh, free of charge, and we love having you around here. It's just not the same if you're not here. So uh, a big thank you to Waylon for this system, uh, another, another four-star system by Waylon. I really like this one, and I am heading out to Vegas in uh, the middle of December. So that's coming up pretty quickly, and this uh, is a system that I will try if I can find a uh, $5 table, which I'll uh, usually go to Ellis Island a couple of times. I'll probably play it there. And if not, I'll at least try it on bubble craps. And then I'll probably roll a little out starting at the $10 level and just um, pressing up $5 at a time like we did today and see how that works out. So anyway, I will link one of Wayland's videos of this system uh, below here and so you can go and uh, watch him roll it out and uh, I think he did it maybe three different levels I know he did it at a black chip level and a green chip level and a, uh, a bleed yeah he did do a, a red chip level also so it scales up and down easily it just matters uh, what your bankroll is and uh, how good your ticker is <laughs> how much stress you can take so a lot of fun profitable and uh, enjoyed rolling it out. And once again, thank you, Waylon, for uh, uh, showing this to the to the Crafts community here. So this is Professor Profit coming to you from Crafts University. And if you're out there rolling those bones this week, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And may all your rolls be winners. We'll talk to you again next Sunday. Bye-bye.